I've had the pleasure of knowing Chuck for about 12 years. Uh, when I first got involved in the chamber, he was on the board of directors. And so when I first joined the board, um, I got to serve under him because he became chair pretty uh, quickly after I joined the board. I swear there must be at least three different Chuck Rabel circulating in town at once. I think DDH must have cloned him because he's at so many events all at the same time, it seems. The amount of time that he gives of himself to this city is mind boggling. And when you couple that with the fact that he's a veteran that has gone to war and be, been willing to die for us, it makes this man very, very special. He is a, such a character. He is so colorful, as most of you know. He's adamant that Vista should be a tie-free zone. He used to go around with a big pair of scissors threatening to cut anybody's necktie that he saw. So I wore this one specifically for you, Chuck, tonight, so you can see my tie there. To really get to know Chuck is to love Chuck. And uh, Chuck's heart is great. You just got to figure out that he really is there to help. Despite what you might actually hear out of his mouth. Chuck's got a great heart. I love you, Chuck. I think you're so deserving in this award. I first got to Vista in uh, 1981 and uh, took a uh, production line, if you will, uh, uh, from uh, Southwest uh, Assembly and established Southwest Wire and Cable on Thibodeau Road before there was a business park. When he takes on a project, he takes it on from the beginning. He thinks of every detail. Uh, if funding is needed, he magically usually finds the, the funding for it. And he is there every step of the way. Chuck was one of those guys that would read everything. He would show up. He would have read the entire agenda, which is sometimes a two-inch thick agenda. He would know more about it than many of the people sitting on the dais and he would get up there and grill them on every detail. If they didn't have their I's dotted and their T's crossed, they knew Chuck was going to hold them to it. It took him a little while to figure out how to talk to the city council, but toward the last couple of years he finally figured out how to talk to the city council and he got his point across. One of the things I appreciate the most about him is that he has coined himself our common sense person in all of our committees. You can always count on Chuck to bring the contrary opinion for any of our speakers to make sure that they know what they're talking about. He always keeps everyone on their toes. There are times when the city uh, doesn't do things in the in the best interest of the entire community. Uh, so I, I became a, uh, a pain in their rear end and uh, uh, I made the big mistake in 2010 after I retired uh, at the 11th hour to run for mayor. And uh, so I'm retired twice here in Vista now. One of the things that I really like Chuck did early on uh, after uh, we met uh, was when he was against the Prop L uh, tax increase here in Vista and he put up signs everywhere and passed it out saying L no. In all aspects of the community, in Vista community, if there is a man for all season that is, that is a contributing member and really worthy of this Lifetime Achievement Award, it is Chuck Rabel. I'm also still involved with the Rotary and our military memorial wall, which is coming along super. I've helped raise a lot of money for that and uh, look forward to completion. Our plan for this memorial, which is actually a, a, about a 60 foot long uh, black granite memorial that's inset into an embankment about five feet high, uh, is to dedicate it on Memorial Day this year. Uh, we're on schedule for that, uh, happy to say. And uh, it's going, going very, very well. We've had so much support from the community. Just about every business that we've asked for in the city of Vistas for support has given support in one way or another. There's nobody more deserving of a Lifetime Achievement Award in the city of Vista than Chuck Rabel. Chuck, thank you for your passion and your commitment. Congratulations. That's what makes Vista Vista is the uh, the makeup of, of the people and the good people and the families, that's the biggest thing.